Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Amaya. Welcome to my channel. So, basically, I try to think about a bunch of different things that I wanted to talk about. And honestly, there's just so fucking much that, like, you can't really put it in one video. But I wanted to make a video that I kind of like watching because, you know, I don't know. It's, it's my channel, so. But, um... I just kind of wanted to show you guys a day in my life. This isn't like a normal day to be honest because typically I'm like in the hospital. This is like a day in my life when I'm like out of the hospital which is pretty cool because I do get like that like I go in the hospital for a long period of time but then I come out and I'm home for a long period of time. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah I just wanted to kind of show you guys a day in my life and yeah I hope you enjoy and thanks so much for watching. So this lighting is horrible, but that's okay because I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. So, so typically I start my morning off with taking all my fucking 50 pills that I'm supposed to be taking that I absolutely hate taking. I have like a, uh, I just like, I'm really bad at remembering and yeah, it's just, it's stressful. You know, like having to like remember when to take things like every day at a certain time, like every single day. It's very stressful. I can't handle it. And like, what the fuck is this? This is like the hair that I'm left with. That's embarrassing. Okay. And do you see this horse tranquilizer that I'm supposed to be taking? Oh my god. It just disintegrated in my mouth as I was trying to put it in to take it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not ready. Bitch, I haven't gone on a run like that in like four months. And it wasn't even like a real full on run that I would like, would do like before all of this because I used to play lacrosse and I played midfield and I, I played literally every fucking position and I barely ran. Oh, this is a big ass fucking knife. Is that normal? We'll backtrack, so basically, in, on March 20th, um, I was just living my normal life, and um, I was like feeling so sick, but I, it's like such a weird, it's weird to explain to people like, oh, I was feeling so sick, because it's like, it's not, it wasn't like a, I have a cold or a flu sick, it was like, I knew something, I mean, granted I passed out, but I like definitely knew there was something wrong with me. So, you know, I was getting ready for school and work and I just was feeling like shit. I got up and I just felt really nauseous and I wasn't really sure. I like, I, did, I couldn't pinpoint what it was, but I knew something was wrong, if that makes sense. So, whatever, I tried to get ready for school and work and I ended up throwing up everywhere and then like a few seconds after that I ended up passing out. So then when I had woken up I was freaking out because I knew that I had passed out, so I was freaking out. And I'm calling my mom, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I just, I literally just passed out. I don't know what's wrong with me. And it's crazy, because I had been telling my mom already, like, prior to this situation, that, like, I felt like there was something wrong with me, but I wasn't sure what it was. And she was like, maybe, because I had a stomach bug, so she, and I, like, was in Miami, and I was partying, and I was being fucking crazy. So she was like, well, maybe it's just, like, you're overdoing yourself, like, because I was going out all the time, and then, like you know, like school and work, like, you know, so we're just thinking it's all about like built up. And so whatever, I call her, tell her I passed out, she freaks out, she wants to call an ambulance, but I have a fear of ambulances, I hate them. Like they freak me out. When I see them on the road and they're behind me with their lights on, like I have a fucking panic attack, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go, they just freak me out, I don't like them. So I was like, you know what, like call me an Uber, I'll take an Uber, I will do that for you. 
but I'm not, I'm not. Like, there's no way that I'm getting in an ambulance. So the Uber gets here, and I'm sitting in the back of the Uber, and I'm like, this was the worst fucking idea I've ever... Like, I cannot believe I just told my mom to call an Uber because I was in the back of the Uber, and I was like, I'm gonna throw up all over this guy's car. Like, and then they're gonna charge me $100. So I'm like, holy shit, like, don't throw up whatever you do, just don't throw up. So the entire time, I'm just trying not to throw up, right? So... That shit hurt. Oh God, it's bleeding everywhere. What the fuck do I do? That hurt. And, oh, this bandaid fucking sucks. What the fuck? Ugh. I should probably wash the knife that fucking cut me. I'm in the back of the Uber trying not to throw up. And then I finally get to the hospital and I tell the lady like, there's like this registration area that you gotta go to. So I tell the lady and I'm like, look, I just passed out. I've, I'm like so sick, I have no idea what's wrong with me. Um, and she's looking at me and she's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, bitch, I just told you I just passed out. Like, what do you mean? Like, hello, obviously I'm not okay. And she's like, your lips are gray, like you look so pale. And she grabs me and she's like, you need to sit here, sit down, like I have someone take care of you right away. Yeah, whatever. Took them like three fucking hours. So finally the doctor comes and sees me and she's like, hey, like we need to draw blood cultures. We need to draw uh, some labs because we're not like too sure why you're so sick, why you passed out. Like uh, physically, there's nothing like telling us that there's anything wrong with you. So we just need to check and I'm so freaking out because I fucking hate getting my blood taken out. Okay? Hate it. So she come I start crying because first of all I'm there by myself. Um, you know, she does blood labs and stuff and uh I think at that point like an hour probably had went by and she came back and she was like, hey like I need to give you blood, like your hemoglobin and your all of your counts are just really, like, really low. And I don't know what the fuck she's saying. I mean, my counts are low. Why would I need blood? Like, I wasn't even in a car accident. Because, like, nine times out of ten, when you need blood, it's because you lost a ton, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I start crying again. And this doctor just thinks I'm, like, absolutely fucking, like, ridiculous. She's like, what is wrong with this bitch? Like, it's just blood. You're gonna be fine, right? After I get my blood, it ended up being that I, uh, I needed, um, they were just gonna admit me. Like, admit me as a patient. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so for four days, I was there, and for four days, they had no idea, like, none of the, because the tests that they were running, they took two to three days. Finally, like, the fourth day comes, and I'm sitting there with my sister-in-law, and, you know, we're just talking, and we're like, yeah, we don't, like, I just think I'm, like, really anemic. That's literally like all I could think of what was wrong with me. Like, it did not make sense to me that anything else could be wrong. Well, I was wrong. And the doctor came in and he goes, he doesn't look at me. So I already knew something. He was going to tell me something bad because he literally walks in my room. He walks to the couch in the hospital room and he's staring at the fucking floor. And I'm like, I just remember him saying like, you have leukemia, uh, the type that you have. We can't stage it, but we do know it's really aggressive, and if you don't get it treated right away, like, you'll basically die type of shit. Like, and, mind you, I literally just turned 19, like, probably like three weeks before this, because my birthday was in February. I felt like I was just figuring things out, and everything was going really good for me, so it felt like. And, yeah, I just remember, like, him saying, like, it's really aggressive, I didn't know what to say. First of all, it didn't feel real, like, when he said that, I just, like, it just did not feel real. Like, I just remember just being, like, I'm sleeping, like, this is a dream. It was just me and my sister-in-law there, and I, not the doctor, I had to be the one to tell everyone in my family. And, like, ugh, it just broke my heart, like, it was the worst feeling ever. And then I just remember being so scared. But it was weird because I wasn't 
I wasn't scared that I was gonna die. Like the thought of like dying, like can like because you you think cancer and then you think die. Like you're gonna you get cancer, you die. Like that's just like at least that's how it was in my head. I was so scared, like because I just didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know what questions to ask. From that day, I got admitted and transferred to a different hospital who specializes in bone marrow transplants. Anyways, I was there for like 40 days. That was my first admission. I got my I got seven days of chemo. And since it was like my, when I had got admitted, I was in such bad shape based on my counts and stuff, my blood, they didn't want to send me home. Cause right now I've been getting chemo for five days, seven days, but I go home right after and I just kind of recover at home and I have medicine that I take if I'm feeling sick and stuff. But my first admission, I was in like really, really bad shape. Like... They just didn't think it was like a good idea, I guess, for me to go home because it just was not like okay. So now I'll get one more, I'll get my transplant, and then I'll be in remission. So I'm really fucking excited. Hi. Hi. So basically I've been stuck here with what feels like literally forever. I got a fever and I've been like, I got a fever like four days ago and I've been stuck here since. Um, I can't leave till it's like gone for a full 48 hours. And yeah, it literally sucks. I hate, hate, hate being here, especially when I know that I shouldn't and like I should be home, if that makes any sense. I just hate being here, it's absolutely ass. I feel like I'm in jail, but willingly. <laughs> That's like the best way I can explain it, but it fucking sucks and I'm ready to go home. Um, and yeah, and then after I go home, I'll be home probably for about less than a month and then I'll do my transplant and Hopefully that's like the end of the road and everything will be all good. <laughs> but yeah.